Can't see five steps in front of me Ooh, It's like some devil stole my eyes to see Ooh, How much does it cost to carry Right now it's got me on my knees The future, the future is ours Oh, the future, the future is ours Oh, my heart's been crushed by their perjury keep happening Ooh, I face this devil more than once He's just a coward with big love The future The future is ours Oh The future Jonathan first. I mean, we, we, we've written a couple here and there together when it, when it feels right, um, but the band dynamic comes in usually after Jonathan has the structure uh, outlined with lyrics and melody and things like that. So uh, myself and Dan, our bass player, we kind of come in there and try and support that vision. And then sometimes songs radically change um, from what Jonathan initially brings us when the band dynamic comes, and, and sometimes it feels like we're really just trying to execute something and um, you know, I think John's a great lyricist and great writes great melodies. So it's pretty, pretty fun and pretty easy for me to come along and just kind of uh, do my best to support it. Yeah, growing up, I was around uh, some people that dealt with drug addiction, and it, it really impacted me. And I've I've sort of been surprised at how often, as a as a songwriter, that I come back to that theme. And also, as an actor, for whatever reason, I've played characters and been involved in projects that have struggled with that. I played a heroin addict when I was like 17 years old, and so I got to meet people that had struggled with that and learn a lot about it and, and sort of, you know, walk through it uh, as an artist. And The Hands of Your Drug really came out of that. For me, it's, it's just sort of a, a prayer uh, of, for people that have struggled with that. You come laughing out loud again You come waltzing through the door You speak so many words I can't follow Ah, oh, we've both been here before And all of us out here are asking the same What's it gonna take for you to come clear? And maybe you just haven't suffered enough. Maybe you just haven't suffered enough. Maybe you just haven't. 
suffered enough at the hands of your drug. You come crying to me tonight, and those tears are oh so real. But even though they're real, they're still alive. You don't even look when I say goodbye. And all of us out here are asking the same thing. And what's it gonna take for her? Maybe you just haven't suffered enough Maybe you just haven't suffered enough At the hands of your drug And what do you do when everyone else knows the truth? And what do you say? Everyone else knows the pain How many tears can you cry in one life? I just don't know how to help you see the light To help you see the light To help you see the light Just haven't suffered enough. Well, come on, love. Enough is enough. At the hands of your drug. You know, there are some similarities between finding the soul of a character and also, you know, writing songs. Oftentimes, for me, since I've been writing since I was very young, I started you know, writing songs when I was about 11 years old. Autobiographical songs get extremely narcissistic and sort of boring at some point because I'm tired of, you know, I've, I've dealt with this particular theme or this particular personal struggle. And as an actor, I, I've had to, you know, get into the skin of all these different characters, whether it's like, you know, a heroin addict or someone who's struggling with um, suicidal tendencies. Um, all of these different themes you can explore. And some of my favorite songwriters like Michael Stipe and uh, Bono and Leonard Cohen, they, they deal with um, stories and they get inside the mind and the heart of a character. And um, oftentimes I've been doing a film or a show and it'll inspire me to write songs that I would have never written before because I'm actually sort of emotionally going through what this character is going through as an actor and when I sit down to write a song, oftentimes that will consciously or subconsciously come out. Um, so I think those worlds do connect, at, you know, at some point. Okay.